What's up, Athlean X ladies? It's trainer Amy Jo, and today we're gonna to do a 15 minute inner thigh isolation. I'm gonna be training with you, so let's go. So as you know, training the inner thighs, you can make them stronger, but if you want to lean out and you want leaner inner thighs, that has to be controlled through caloric restriction. So make sure that you're on a great nutrition program, you get, you're getting enough caloric deficit through working out and weight training. The exercises I'm gonna show you today definitely can make your inner thighs stronger, um, but remind yourself that if you're wanting to lean out the inner thigh, focus on the, all the variables that are gonna help you lean down. All right, so our very first exercise, let's go. Here, med ball, you're gonna put in between your thighs. Okay, you're gonna squeeze as you're doing a hip thrust. So you need a soft med ball or a hard one. You just don't want it too large. Okay, I'm gonna squeeze into the ball. I'm laying myself out on the bench and I'm gonna walk my feet out. Make sure the ball is right in between your knees and the quads, okay? So my feet are out, I'm dropping the butt and I'm squeezing inner thigh and my uh, lower glutes all at the same time, right at tying into my hamstring. So I'm gonna do 10 reps, squeeze, and this forces me to push into the ball. I can't let that ball drop. So my inner thighs are gonna be on fire by three sets. Good. Squeeze, two more. Last one, and up. Right, so we're gonna drop the ball. My super set here is going to be a side lunge but my foot is elevated, okay? So I'm just gonna use a small box here. You can use a small stair step, a BOSU even. One foot is elevated and you're focusing on this inner thigh. So it's a side lunge, stand back up. Side lunge, stand back up. Push your booty back and you wanna use that inner thigh to push off. We'll do 10 here as well. And then we're gonna superset. We're gonna go back to the bench Push, push, three more, eight, push through the heel, nine, one more, 10. I'm gonna switch sides. That foot is elevated. Reminder, push through the heel. Okay, side lunge, and up. One, two, focus on pushing your butt back, keep your chest lifted, inner thigh. Four, five, six, seven, here's eight, here's nine, one more, and 10. Great, push the step off to the side, grab that ball again. We're gonna do three rounds. Okay, place the med ball in between your legs, walk the heels out down and squeeze, squeeze. You can see already how I'm getting a little extra in the glutes because I'm hip thrusting, but with my legs being extended, it really helps contract the inner thigh a little bit more than if my knees are bent. Remember we're doing 10 and squeeze. Woo. Push into that med ball, two more. Nine, last one, 10, nice. Drop the ball, back to the side lunge. I'm gonna start on this side this time, mix it up. All right, leg out, side lunge, and back up. Side lunge, back up. Four, five, push that booty back, six, Seven, eight, nine, one more, 10. Other side. Foot up on the step, and here we go. Push the butt back, focus on the inner thigh, pushing when you come up, push through the heel. Good. Four, five, six, up and breathe, seven, eight, two more, nine, 
and there's 10. Awesome. Okay, we got one more round. Let's do it. So we're focusing on 10 reps for all of these exercises for inner thigh isolation, just so you know. So if you wanna write it down, it's so much easier to remember when you just keep the reps all the same. Okay, push into that med ball, walk the heels out. Last set of these, let's go for 10 and squeeze. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, squeeze, almost there. Last one, good, there's 10. Drop the med ball. Okay, and I'm gonna go back to my right leg. Elevated first, and side lunge. Two, three, keep up, let's go. Four, five, pushing through that heel. Six, up and breathe. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Other side. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. You got it. Get down there. Three. Here's two. Last one. One more. And push up. Great. Done with those. Moving on. I'm going to use a bench to lay on my side. You can also do these on a mat. My heel is gonna be pointed to the ceiling. My leg is straight, my back leg is bent. And I have my elbow underneath my shoulder to support my upper body. And you're gonna lift as high as you can, contracting the inner thigh. Same thing, I'm gonna do 10 with you guys here. Four, five, six, make sure you lift with the heel. Seven, that's what's going to contract the inner thigh, not with the toe. Squeeze. Nine, one more, and 10. Switch sides. Resting my elbow underneath. Lift with the heel. Two, three, four, five. Get as high as you can. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. And these ones we're just gonna knock out. So let's do these back to back, no breaks. Reason being is that this left leg gets a break as I'm attacking this right one. So it's best just to rotate through these quickly. Lift, squeeze, good. Five, lead with that heel, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Other side, we're doing three sets. And squeeze up, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Woo, I'm feeling it burn now. Third exercise, this is our third set. Should definitely be feeling it. If you're not, slow things down a little bit. Think more about that mind-muscle connection and that should help. Three, four, leading with the heel. Five, six, seven, eight, two more. Nine, and squeeze, 10. Great job. Other side, one more, and up. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, last one, lead with that heel. Perfect, one, nice job. All right, moving on, I'm gonna use my resistant band, a circle one, one that's pretty tight. And this one is um, labeled extra heavy. So I know a lot of bands will say extra heavy, light, moderate. So you might need to get a packet and try them out, see which one is more challenging. In some exercises, I need an easier band just based off of the, the angle of pull. All right, so this one is an inner thigh motion. 
you are going to be in a split stance and you're going to use this leg to kick out because the movement for inner thigh always has to be lateral. So I'm going to take the bench or you can hold on to um, anything else, a stand, something that's shoulder height, but I'm just going to lean here and then kick forward. Now I have a little more resistance than when I did laying on the bench. So it is definitely harder, but we're gonna get 10, six, seven. Once again, you wanna lead with the heel. Eight, kick out, nine, and 10. Okay, I'm switching sides. Be in your split stance. The foot that you're, or the inner thigh that you're working should be forward. Lean, hang on to a bench, and kick. Kick, lead with that heel. Two. Three, you can even place your hand on the inner thigh. Five, six, to make sure you're contracting. Eight, nine, last one, and 10. Great. Okay, and then we're gonna superset with this one. I'm gonna pop my toe up, and I'm gonna do a squat. Pulse, 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 and up. Pulse, pulse, and up. Three, up, four, five, Six, seven, eight. Remember, we're going 10. There's nine. Last one is 10. Great job, other side. Pop that up. So when I come down here, I'm forced to use the inner thigh on that popped up leg. Good. Four. Pop, pop, up. Five. Pulse, pulse. Six, seven, eight. Nine, pulse, pulse, 10. Awesome. Going back to the inner thigh kicks, split stance, bent over, and kick out. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, lead with the heel, three, two, and squeeze one. Great, let's spin around. Split stance again, tilt, front leg, Inner thigh up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great. Pulse it out. Here it is. Pulse. Two, three, four, almost there. Five, six, Keep that heel up. Seven and eight. Here's nine and here's 10. Other leg, pop it up. Heel up and sit back in it. Pulse, pulse. One, two, three. Great job. Four, five, six, seven, and eight, there's nine, Woo! and 10, awesome. So you can do one more round if you wanted. You can even do four rounds on both of those circuits. It's a great way to target the inner thigh, making them stronger. So remind yourself, we wanna add strength there, but unveiling definitely means you needed a caloric deficit, which requires through nutrition, great meal plan program. You can check out Athlean X for women. Uh, check out their website. They have a lot of great programs. I've seen a lot of great results come out of those individuals who have followed the uh, guidelines from them. So check them out. Check out what you can do and, and how you can get organized with your exercise that can add strength and add tightness and um, isolation, just like what I showed you here for that inner thigh. And I know you're gonna get great, great results. Thanks for joining me. I'm trainer Amy Joe, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.